Well, it's nice to be sitting down with you. I'm very happy that you, you turned up. Oh, well, I'll always turn up for you. But you're getting some flack at the moment, I aren't am. you? I am. About your attendance. I know, and it's quite funny. I'm finding it amusing how it's become a bit of a thing uh, when actually I, I gave an apology to a couple of big meetings uh, for quite serious reasons, and now it's turned into absent mayor when that is absolutely not the case. And why do you think that is? Uh, I just think it forms a, kind of like a wider... Um, opposition to me, I suppose. I missed, um, I was absent from a couple of meetings. Now I don't attend things where I don't turn up, which is absolutely not the case. Um, does it feel a bit sexist to you, a bit it gendered? Does. Yeah, it's, 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 it's gendered, and I know people are going to be un uncomfortable with hearing that, but, you know, let, let's, be, let's be real here. Um, I'm a, a young wahine Māori, uh, I'm progressive and unapolog unapologetically so, and I think people, what I represent, people are quite um, uh, uncomfortable about that, and so there's some attempts at, um, you know, trying to attack my character, so to speak, and it's a shame but it's from a minority, and I'm still very excited about the outpouring of support that I've received from the community. It, it, some of it does feel undermining, like, you're a party lover. Yeah. When and I you... am, you know. <laughs> well, let, let, let's, let's not get it twisted. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm 40, I'm single, uh, I love our hospitality scene, and every couple of weeks I like to head out with my mates and, and hit a couple of bars. I, there's certainly nothing wrong with that, and, and pe I've heard one comment go, do your job! And it's like, oh, OK, so Saturday night, do I, should I be in the office? Well, no, that's just silly. So um, I'm entitled to a private life. I'm entitled to have a little bit of fun with my mates. And um, there are some people who take issue with that. And you had a bit of a rough meeting this week. I did, I did. Um, were at Oriental Parade? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you know, I will say the, the organisers were really lovely and we had agreed for me to come and uh, sh share my vision for the city, uh, have uh, a few questions, a, a bit of a Q&A session as well. And, and that actually was going really well. Then the meeting took a turn. There were just a few gentlemen who, who got up and was just kind of yelling me down, uh, giving me a bit of a roasting, so to speak, um, and wouldn't let me answer. Um, and that's when things got tense, that's when the hollering started, uh, and that's when I just kind of had to go, I've had enough, because th this is just not how you treat your guests. And then I walked out. The, the silver lining of all this, though, is that... How did that um, feel for you? Oh, I've, uh, it was really disappointing. I mean, I think... I think all women can understand what that feels like, kind of being uh, yelled down by a, a group of um, men with a privileged background. And so it was really unpleasant. But I was actually just more disappointed um, because it was taking up air. It was taking space from people who were there to actually genuinely hear from me, mm. you know. So they, they did a disservice to me and they did a disservice to the residents there. However, I'm meeting... Um, the Association for Coffee next week to just sort of clear the air and go, look, I want to come back because there are people there I want to engage with. Do you think a bit of it is generational? Oh, absolutely. I mean, let, let's be real. I am the opposite um, of, of that group. They, they were, you know, of an older generation. I'm not just into a dune. You know, I, I'm probably a, a much more edgy and, you know, and I say what I think and, you know, I've, I've probably accidentally sworn at a couple of uh, events. I'm not going to change who I am. People will find that confronting. But again, I, I'm, I'm here to represent the next generation of leaders, the next generation that I'm trying to set up the city for and our most vulnerable. So I can't change who I am. I'm not going to change my values and I'm not going to change the policies that I campaigned on. Um, one thing that you are going to do now, though, is you're going to release your diary. I am. And in fact, I did bring my laptop if you wanted a sneak peek of what a week looks like uh, yeah. for the mayor. Well, yeah, let's should take we, a look. We... Let's take a look. Because I'm just like, I looked at it and I was like, ah, I'm busy. Um, but right, here we go. And just got to log in. Let's be clear, you did miss two important meetings. I did. I did. You should and have been there. I should have been there. Um, I gave an apology on the morning of. That's not ideal wouldn't do that again. But otherwise, what, you, what I'm hearing is that you're changing things up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You're doing like, things differently. I'm trying to have, um, and, and look, at, I mean, it's very colourful. I mean, it looks beautiful. Yeah, I'm trying to have a diverse sort of, um, you know, a mixture of outreach, um, council meetings, uh, media. I'm very accessible, you know, for the media. I hear you is, like the TV yeah, cameras. I do like the TV cameras. So <laughs> it's a little bit different than other mayors. Um, but, you know, I've also got... why is that important to you? 
Um, because for me, it's just a way to get the vision of the city out to the public. It means that uh, the general public know what I'm up to. Um, there have been previous mayors who have been accused of being... Um, well, people didn't know who the mayor was. Well, there's one in Auckland who won't let TV cameras no, exactly. in at the moment. And, and, that, and, and that's disrupting um, some really good work of councillors who are trying to get a really, really nice balanced budget, um, and it's turning into a bit of a circus when actually it could have been a lot... Um, a lot smoother. So I think the upset is there's some undermining behaviour here, but um, some people are genuinely uh, upset if I have to decline a meeting to attend something else. And it's just a bit of, again, because I'm trying to change things up. So let's talk about some of the big issues. You know, you campaigned on a lot of sort of big promises on this vision of transformation. Yep. What do you know now that you're in the office? I know now that it's very expensive. <laughs> so, yes, I made some very grand plans during my campaign and I've come in, I've looked at the books and gone, oh, OK, can't do that in three years. Um, so it, it, it's essentially turned into a 10-year plan, which is exactly what the long-term plan is. Mm. And I'm very excited about that process. So we've got the annual plan out of the way. We have our rates increased. Uh, uh, coming, and I'm, I am excited that we're going to maintain our services, still invest in things like pipes. We've actually increased funding for Wellington Water. Um, we've got, uh, you know, our cycleway network, and of course, um, you know, climate resilience work, which is really important. With the long-term plan, we, we 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 are going to have to think big for the for the sake of our city. So it's continuing that work around. Um, let's get Wally moving and and efficient public transport. I am a huge supporter of it, and uh, I think that's what's caught, ruffled some feathers. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, the, what's ruffled some feathers is that Wellington's still not moving. Well, I'm excited to say that uh, construction for the Golden Mile will start in October. Um, and I think that will start... And that's the pedestrianisation for people that aren't yeah, familiar. Exactly. So it's, it's ensuring that we can prioritise things like bus lanes, cycleways and, um, and pedestrianisation along Lambton Quay right up to Courtney Place. And that means we'll also get to... Um, that, to me, leads to city revitalisation. Yeah. Um, we can have outdoor dining, we can have laneways and all that beautiful stuff. And then from there, we'll, we'll kick into things like mass uh, rapid transit. And it, that is the project that will enable higher density housing and yeah. further investment in our city. And, and I'm really excited about it. It's a long project. It's going to lead to uh, several years of disruption. Um, but I think as long as the council is really clear with the plan, what it's going to lead to, when it's going to happen, our, our city will adjust. So that the pedestrianisation of the Golden Mile, mm. there are going to be uh, shovels in the ground, October. Yes. What about light rail? So the business case for that is due uh, in the coming months. and It looks like it's hanging by a thread. I mean, I'm not across the bit, a business case yet, and I, I won't be until it comes to um, the um, governance reference group. I think... There's actually um, huge support for it, but there's a, a vocal minority who are just kind of uh, really trying to uh, push against it, as is their right. You know, and but there's also six councillors on on your uh, in your council are saying that they're not behind. Let's get well no, anymore. And, and I don't expect them to be because uh, actually they they campaigned against it uh, last year. So and I fully respect their view. We have ten councillors who support it, and that's a very clear majority. Um, I I'm a I'm a fan of light rail. Uh, you know, I I think it will truly bring a change to our city again. That's where the housing comes in. That's where international investment comes in. It provides certain certainty for developers so that they know where they should be investing uh, their housing. How confident are you that you can get it there? Uh, what, what makes it quite tricky is that it's a partnership. Uh, so with central government, Waka Kotahi and the Wellington Regional Council. So it is quite a, um, a gnarly project that involves many partners that, ha that have to come uh, together on this. We are currently together. Uh, seeing the, um, uh, the business case I have no idea where that's going to go. Uh, I, I certainly hope it, it, it rules in favour of light rail, um, but we'll just have to come together again and decide once we've actually looked at the facts. Has it surprised you, I suppose, you know, coming into this office, just, you know, three years is not going to do it, is it? No, it absolutely isn't. And Six years, No. You're not, you might not no. even be getting close. Oh, I know. Are you here for the long haul? Oh, absolutely. So I've made it very clear with others that I want to be at least a three-term mayor because a lot of the stuff that I want will take 10 years to even start. You know, light rail is going to take way longer than, than that to, to be delivered, and that's okay. 
um, but I want to make sure that the work happens. I want to provide consistent leadership for the city um, to take us through quite a difficult but exciting period. I hear you've been getting some mentoring. I get mentoring from various people. <laughs> Is one of them Helen Clark? No, 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 no. Um, so me and I met, um, I had the pleasure of meeting Helen Clark in a meeting about um, open government uh, some weeks ago. And uh, what ended up happening, um, she was there to introduce me um, to the lead of open government, but we, we just completely turned it into a conversation about women in leadership and we were totally vibing off each other. It was a very exciting meeting and I turned back to the other guy and was like, sorry, and he goes, no, I'm just witnessing this amazingness of seeing, you know, two wahine toa come together. It was so exciting. And we swapped numbers, you know, afterwards and, and you know, uh, we promised to keep in touch. So, yeah. So um, less formal than mentoring. but Less formal than mentoring, but I'm very, I'm very um, honoured to, to have her sell, you know. And her support. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's important in this business, isn't it? Yes. I've had um, just so many, I seem to have been pulled into this really wonderful network of women who just want to support me and see me succeed. And so when I do have difficult moments at things like that, that meeting on Tuesday, I just, I just remember that there's this network here, there are people out there. Um, and, the, and actually, I, I stood for a particular generation and a community of vulnerable people. I must never forget them.